Hey y'all, good morning. Here's what I'm wearing today. This little top is old, it is from JCPenney's, and quite honestly, I feel like it looks like a pregnancy top, but if I tuck it in, like do like a little tuck like this, while that's okay, you can also kind of see where my zipper is showing right there. And I don't like that, so I'll probably just leave it untucked until, oh, I'm expecting in June. No. I'm um, also wearing black skinny jeans. I don't know if I showed you guys, but my jeans, pants, whatever, they get this like white, dusty looking stuff on it. It wipes off if like, if I like rub it and stuff, it wipes off, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, I also have on nude flats. And today, I don't have a whole lot planned. It is Captain's first birthday. He's one today. And so that's exciting. We've got a party planned and we, no, I don't, I don't have a party planned. I don't do a party for my cats, but, um, we are excited that he's in our life. So that's fun. What else? I have a couple things to do at work and I'm mostly going to concentrate on getting ready to leave on Friday because I go to Washington. So, um, plans for today are minimal, but, um, it's probably going to be some office work and then so not super exciting, but I am going to go to the storage unit and get my suitcase out. And I am going to stop by Dollar General or Dollar Tree to get some washcloths to put in the guest bathroom to kind of fill it up. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is our guest bedroom. We washed the sheets. I have not put them back on the pillow, back on the pillows, back on the bed. And I haven't put these cases back on the pillows, but I moved the, the table from over from over here to over there and I move these baskets from over there to over here. Not sure if I like it to be honest. But also I think part of it is I I have these pillows lining here. The weird thing or strange thing is these have stuffing. They don't have like a filler like a pillow form. They have stuffing in them. So if I redo them or like try to put them in something else it's, it's not as easy as it looks. They have stuffing in them. So anyway, that's another thing. Here's the guest bath. These flowers are from Easter, believe it or not. Actually before Easter. And so what I was going to do is I won this crate at a realtor event. So I thought I would roll up a bunch of these little towels and put them in like that. So, and then just kind of fill them all up. And then I have some ivory soap. I was just going to like lay a soap on top and like something like that to look cute, like for guests. So yeah, the color scheme, the color scheme in this bathroom is this, this color, this aqua-ish color, because I also have it on the rug down there. It's gray, white, and that aqua color. And then I have this aqua-ish color going on in here in the decor stuff like I have this little thing and I have the soap that's that color so anyway I'll show you what I'm doing in the other bathroom here's what we're doing in the other bathroom these two things are probably not staying or at least not staying they're probably not staying I don't think but I've got over here just a little tiered stand and it's trimmed in the gold so I think that looks cute got a little succulent and a candle and captain also my grandmother gave me this <laughs> it wiggles when the the light hits it so that's awesome my sister also sells Scentsy and she gave me this vanilla spray and I'm using it to hopefully minimize or counter some of the odor that comes from the cat room. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. It's been a while. It's been like days. I get a hot chocolate almost every day. I love hot chocolate. Hot chocolate is so good, but it's got carbs y'all. I went to Starbucks today, obviously, and there was a new guy and a new girl behind the counter. And I know we all gotta start somewhere, and I know it's gotta be your first day sometime at a new place, but 
I was just thinking, oh, please don't let this be a slow person. But I was thinking that for no reason, y'all. There wasn't even a line. There wasn't a line in front of me. There wasn't a line behind me. So what was my rush? So I was thinking to myself, okay, what's up with you, Miss Fancy Pants? Like, why you got to be all like in and out quick? I literally have one meeting today and it's not for like two hours. Slow down. So I had no like legitimate reason like to think, I hope this isn't a slow person. Y'all ever do that? Y'all ever get in like the, just like, just get an attitude for no reason? So if you've ever found yourself getting an attitude for no reason, like thinking like you're all that in a bag of chips, I want to know. That's what I wanted to talk about today. It was really nothing. I'm just saying like I had to put myself in check. Stop with the attitude. Also, as it turns out, he was the manager, so he was not slow. But he was also not making the drink. The girl that I normally see made the drink. So, she's fast. Because I had to get all the plate. I didn't have nowhere to go, y'all. So, my ring doorbell just notified me that someone was at my front door. And then somebody um, rang the doorbell. So, I hopped on the app. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it is a package from Amazon. And that's why they're texting me. <laughs> so he's like, ma'am, I'm calling the police because I just went and got the package. Um, I had him just kind of put it behind the columns so that nobody could really see it. And um, so, yeah, it's a package for me. I think I know what it is, but let's open it. Okay, so like I said, the ring doorbell went bing, bing, and I'm like, and then, which I thought it was just like the mail, because the mail always comes around this time, and it was not. Then they rang the doorbell, so I'm like, what? Who is it? And it's Amazon, and I'm like, I always get my Amazon deliveries, like all my deliveries almost, up here at the office, which is just minutes away. So I'm like, who is whatever like who is this why are you delivering something and good gravy you see the muscles that I just used all right so looks like I have some sort of package I already know what this is I'm excited happy Mother's Day we love you love all of us and I got an Apple Pen for my um for my new iPad that I have. An Apple Pen, not pen, Apple Pencil. Get it right, Lisa. I also got something else. This says Witsy Glassware and Gifts. So let's check out what this is. This might be okay. Some sort of little mug. Y'all all know what the pencil looks like. We don't need to unbox that. But this is a surprise. What? It says something on there. This lady. Aw. It says this lady is one awesome mom. So see like when I'm drinking and then the arrow's pointing to me. Aw. That's cute. Aw. Now I'm going to have to do something. I'm gonna have to put some hot chocolate in there and drink up. Drink up, Buttercup. Aw, that's nice. Alrighty. Um, well, I'm excited about both of those things. Now, that's cute. And of course, the iPad pencil goes with my iPad that I just got. That I'm super excited because I do, obviously, I do YouTube videos. And so if I do any videos where I want to add some text to it, I want it to be able to uh, like write the text, like, you know, like, or draw an arrow where exactly where I wanted it. Because sometimes when you use the arrow, like some of the like symbols and things that you can add to it, like overlays that you can do, it's like not quite the right spot. I don't know. I just wanted the pencil. Let's just be, I just wanted the pencil. So, this is cool. Designed by Apple in California. Wah! And there's the... 
pencil. Here's the pencil. I'm already breaking it. My daughter had one too, Catherine, that was just here. And so she said, take off the, I thought you take off the cap. Hmm. I better read the directions because I don't know how to pair it to my, my thing. So I will, I will take it inside, learn how to pair it, pair it, not pair it like, ah, all right, Captain, not that kind of parrot. So I'm gonna figure that out, but what fun. So that's awesome. After I get off work here in a little bit, I'm gonna run by the storage unit and get out the suitcase because we're traveling and I've gotta get all of that prepared. Yay, then what a fun surprise. So here's the current situation. It's after midnight and I'm using my phone to tape this because I worked on editing some videos tonight and I somehow managed to lose my hard drive, the little, you know, SD card. I don't know where it is. I have looked everywhere in this little area that I'm sitting in. If it's gone down a crevice or a crack or something, I have no idea. But the only bad thing about it is it had all the footage from uh, basically the rest of February, March, and April. And maybe the first week of May. So not too much. Not too much gone. I literally do not know where it is i keep thinking oh i haven't looked here oh i haven't looked. i've looked everywhere three or four times and i just looked sorry i just looked under the lamp to see if i put it there i don't know where i put it i was sitting right here i undid like I you know ejected the SD card and I ejected the um, hard drive I don't know I don't really feel like crying but I just feel like and honestly I don't have another um, SD card to use because that ha um, I had bought another SD card because that one was getting full or I didn't want it to get full or something I don't know. So tomorrow I will unload some stuff off of the new SD card and I guess just start over. And then if I find it, I find it. So that's where I am right now. I don't even have anything to attach this footage to because that was on that card. And I don't think I inadvertently threw it away. I just, I've looked under the couches. I've run my hands all across the floor looking for it. Maybe it's just like, um, what do you call it? Like a disguised, um, uh, camouflaged. And so now it's almost one o'clock and I've been looking for it for like an hour now, hour and a half. So I'm going to go to bed. So if you guys know where my SD card is, let me know. Thanks. Bye. Guess what? I found it. So I thought, well, maybe the cats saw it on the floor and like flicked it or whatever. Sure enough, it was under, under one of their toys. So that's it. I'm going to go to bed. Don't forget, be kind. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget, if you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome. And on Instagram and YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though because that's creepy.